What is going on, everybody? It is your boy Blizz Ricks on Black Ops 3. This is my first official gameplay for you guys on the actual game. This is not the beta. As you can see, I am using the KN44. Now, if you guys were on the beta, you remember this gun as the ARC 7. And it is still just as beastly as it was before. This gun is so dope. I don't know why I didn't use it to begin with. This gun has next to no recoil at all. Is it the strongest gun? No. The Man of War is still stronger than this gun. It shoots just a little slower, but it's a lot more accurate than this gun as well. But this gun is great for close quarters. Well, kind of close quarters. More like a close mid-range battle if you want to get into that. That's what this gun is used for. But what I want to mainly talk about is the new gunsmith that we have in Black Ops 3. Now, I thought it was going to be something where I knew we made our own variants of our guns. And I thought it was going to be amazing. But what I found out, it's more like you're making... Compared to Advanced Warfare's variants, and that's basically what you can basically do instead of unlocking variants you could just create your own variants so say you had a gun that shot a little slower you put rapid fire on it and that's its own separate gun and you have your regular gun it's still no different than regular creative class you know they said yeah you can put more attachments on your guns yes you can but the downside is it takes up all your creative class slots I found that one out the hard way. Just testing it out. I would say I found it out the hard way, but it's not really the hard way because I didn't even unlock all those parts yet. But yeah, I found that out and it really was, it saddened me. It's like, wow, it said, because I was using it in the private lobby and it said, oh, remove other things for the attachments to stay on. I was like, wow. So I can't even just have the gun. I mean, whatever. So... The gunsmith really isn't all that great. I mean, it's cool for simple weapons. It's not really something you can go crazy with. You put a whole bunch of attachments on your gun, and you're going to think this is going to be dope for you. It's going to be all right. I noticed an issue in the game where it's matchmaking. Like, say you guys are about to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just want to bring this up. I didn't know what this sound was, but watching a kill feed on the left about let's see look right there my friends was telling me they all got hit by a train mind you i've been on this map for a while running around there's a train <laughs> i didn't know there's a train but yeah back to just what i want to talk. i just wanted to mention that because i thought it was funny so what i noticed about the matchmaking is sometimes the matchmaking gets a little weird it's not as far as whether it's skill based or anything it's a little unbalanced you know, it, it, the game needs a little tweaking. Say we're in a lobby, right? Say you got a party going on and other people have a party. They'll come in. Now, it says the max players is 12. Sometimes it'll come into 15 or 13 or something. So you'll just sit there for a while and a game just won't start. And that's a little bug. I think that needs to be taken care of. Hopefully they take care of Hopefully enough people actually bring it up so... It can't actually be taken care of because it's it's something that really messes up with the flow of the game. You know, you want to get a nice game going real quick, but you can't because it's too many people in the lobby somehow. Somehow it's just too many people. I don't know how that happens, but I, I guess that chalks it up to bad matchmaking. I mean, the game is still brand new, so, you know, I think that's probably what it is. Hopefully it could be fixed soon enough. Another thing in the game... I haven't noticed any snipers. Not to say that I'm ready to hate snipers or anything. I just noticed I haven't seen any snipers. Like, nothing. I haven't seen hard scoping. Like, nothing. Like, where, where are they? I know you want to get used to the game, know the maps and everything, but that's never stopped anybody before. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, the XR2. I like that gun. The automatic burst rifle. I mean, it's... Eh, it's all right. It's not really something I'm going all out the way to play with, but it's a nice substitute before you get the M8. I tested the M8 in the um, 
private lobby. Yeah, the M8's mates, all right. The M8 really is not really a gun I'm going to be beasting to get with. You know, it's whatever. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't care. You know, it's not the same as the M8 from Black Ops 2. Sadly, because that gun was a beast. I don't really see it. I don't, I don't think I can see anybody using the new M8 like that. I think people would stick more of the Man of War or the KN44 and the Cuda. The Cuda is still a reigning beast. People are just able to get you at almost any range. The gun is really quick. Now, one more thing that I want to talk about. There's a problem in this game already. Campers. Now, not to say that I have a problem with campers, but I have a problem with it in this game because... The whole thing for the campers is usually, people usually camp so they can get their KDs and stuff like that, I guess. But it kind of slows the game down. It kind of makes you not want to play. Because this is a game that promotes movement. I mean, this is also another game that doesn't show everybody's stats. There's no lobby leaderboard. I'm thankful for that. There, Call of Duty does not need any lobby leaderboards. We don't need any more of these Call of Duties focusing on KDs and all of that it's pointless it's just a video game there's no skill involved in it just have some fun that's how it's supposed to be but yeah the camping is just this like some maps that just promotes camping like there's one map that's just nothing but uh doors and hallways and you know it's just a it's a closed map it's open but it's closed it's really big but really small at the same time it's really close quarters it's really tight but oh my god i mean you can't find anybody as you can see, we lost this match, but I didn't care. I did well. Oh, yeah. Just so you know, I recorded this with the theater mode. That's why you don't see any kill cams or anything. The theater mode looks okay. But that was the gameplay commentary. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video commentary. Leave a comment below on what you think about the game so far. And I'm out. Peace. Oh, yeah. Tell your friends to subscribe if they didn't already. I'm out. Peace.